Oh, oh. Whoa. whoa. The full military bat. Ooh. Ooh, I like what I see in here. Ooh, he's got money in there. 14K, baby. That's gold, too. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. We are back outside of the $660 police officer storage unit. It looks like it's going to be one of the best storage units of all time so far. So let's get back in there and see what else we can pull out. We ended the other parts of this storage unit with a grand total of $3,455 of value. Those parts are down in the description below. Let's start there and see what we uncover this time. And trust me, it's really good. This unit has had everything so far. Literally weapons, collectibles, just everything you can want in a unit. So let's keep pulling out stuff. Nana stuff again or blue tote? Mm, Nana stuff. Nana stuff. Last time I think we got all Nana's personal stuff. So maybe this will be all Nana's money stuff. Uh what is that? Let's see what's in here. Well, I see. Is that what's shaking? Oh no, it's a little Christmas thing. Things remembered is usually personalized stuff. Should I open it anyway? Yeah. Let's just be sure. I just want to make sure it doesn't have a picture or somebody's name on it or something like that. And it does have their picture in there, so we're just gonna close that up. Let's see. So this is a old Santa Claus statue. If I can get him out of the box, I'll give you a better look at him. There he is, Santa Claus right there this is that's what's making the noise they're like little easter eggs with bells in them <laughs> weird okay this right here i think these are going to be all christmas decorations this is a snowman water fountain musical this is doesn't say let's pull it out it's christmas again yeah look snowman so let's just try to read these boxes. If it's all Christmas, pull this pack it back up and move on. That's um, Santa. And this one is another snowman. Other than that, we just got a few picture frames. Now let's grab that blue tote that you didn't want to choose. Why, did you think it's the sewing patterns again? I do. It feels a lot lighter than the ones that have sewing patterns. So if it is, it's probably like half full. Oh, no, it's some flags. NASCAR, I'm guessing. Is that what it is? Yeah, Tony Stewart. All right, a NASCAR flag. This is... Oh. Jacket. oh cool. A little kid jacket. I wonder if these go for money. I don't know anything about NASCAR. Like I know in football like the Letterman jackets are kind of similar obviously except they have the leather sleeves and they're expensive. Let's see, is this another one? It's another NASCAR jacket, isn't it? Yeah, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Alright. Then this one, is that another one I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and assume yes? This Our, is probably Earnhardt Jr. again. Yeah, so three NASCAR <laughs> jackets. What is this right here? Oh, what is that? That feels very heavy. I like the sound of that. Let's open it up and see what's in there. This is, oh, whoa, whoa. what are these? Westward, Casino? Casino. 0.999 no fine silver. Look, one right there, that's a chip. We're getting ready to go to Vegas. A little scratched off. Uh, that's okay, this one is, this one's silver too. It's a $10 gaming token. Nice. Another one, oh, oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Guys, that's 0.999 silver. Is that one point, 0.999 silver? Uh, this one, 0.999 silver. Oh my God, right now. Holy crap, what about this one that's out? You can tell that it's tarnished because it's not in the case. So again, 0.999 fine silver. That's a regular one, silver. Uh, what about this guy here? No, that's just a token. That's silver. Uh, this one is silver, silver, silver. Holy crap. See, this is why you picked the blue tote. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Some of these cases have obviously, look, you can see some of the cases broke. These are probably, the ones that are not in cases were probably in cases once upon a time. But look at these, silver, uh, silver, silver. I just wanna see how many silvers we have total when it's all said and done. Silver, okay. These are actually, we're gonna take these with us to Vegas, man. We're just gonna go into those casinos and just throw it on a table. <laughs> so, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen total. So fifteen of those silver, not point nine 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 silver coins. That's how you start this unit out. As you can see here, these coins sell for an average of twenty dollars a piece. Some of them going for as high as thirty plus dollars, depending on if the casino still in business. And we just counted out fifteen of these. Now that's a good start. NASCAR fans, I need your help. So we were loading these jackets back in there, and I realized this one actually has a signature on it. It looks like the nickname type spot says Fix. 
So if somebody, I know nothing about this. I've never watched one second of one race in my 28 years of life. So if anyone recognizes that signature right there, definitely let us know down in the comments. One of the goals for today is we're getting into this freaking hard army bag here. And I kind of want to get that green military colored thing up there eventually. So we definitely got to work our way that way. This, we don't got to go through it. This is a white and purple Christmas tree right there. Nothing fancy to look at. Just gonna put it in the truck. And we gotta start getting some of these black bags out of here and see what they are. So you know something funny? I saw this bag in the picture of the unit online. I'm assuming they just forgot the K in blankets, but I looked up the definition of planet. And it has to do with black holes in space. So if I open this and you know, it sucks me into another vortex or something, just remember us as a good channel. How do you forget the K in blankets? It is all blankets though. So <laughs> at least we know that much. Let's just get it out of here. I don't wanna look at so many blankets. They'll just most likely just donated because they don't really sell and people can use them. Oh, it's all CDs. I was hoping there'd be video games. We'll get to that in a second. This one, again, blanket donation. I like the see-through ones. The see-through bags? Yeah. yeah. They make life easier. <laughs> this one just says couch and it's like the pillows off of a couch. I could tell you are the cushions, really. It feels like cushions and pillows. Look at these trash bags. Why are they falling apart so You know how long they've probably been in here? Who knows how long? All right, this one here says sleeping bags, and you can see through it. It's exactly what it is, just sleeping bags. We don't need all these right here. They'll just be donated again. Is this a golf thingy? Oh, it's full. Well, look at this, hold on. Let's open it up. Is it dark in here, or can you see well? You can see. Okay, look at that. There's the thing on the bottom of the head because golf, along with NASCAR, never watched or played a second or minute of it in my 28 years of existence. I played miniature golf one time in my 28 years of life. That's my total knowledge And that was like golf. last year. And that was last year. Yeah, so definitely don't know much about golf. If you know anything about it, let me know if we have any value here. Trying to contain my excitement here. So I just uncovered this box that says games. And let's just say we found a horde of video games in here, including some high-end GameCube games that were complete in case. So I'm in a good mood right now. This unit has been incredible. But look what I just uncovered. The full military bag. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my goodness, it's crazy heavy. Let's take this over here to the truck and see what's in here. Blech. I don't know how they carry this stuff around. This is why they're built different. <laughs> little pockets first. All right. Where's the little pockets? In the front? Yeah. Because usually we found military bags. This is where you find like rifle magazines, things like that. Nothing in there. Nothing in that one. It's hard there. Oh, uh, what is this? Mm -hmm. Just part of the back. Ooh. Back. I don't know, but it feels cool. It's hard, whatever it is. What do you think it is? I don't want to take a guess because <laughs> you think you're probably right. You're going to say steaks. Yeah. yeah. They're just like the steaks you stick into the ground and put like a tent up or something like that. But that's all that's in there. Let's I never see. know whether to say exactly what I'm thinking. No, just not. be like throwing knives. <laughs> just take a guess of something super cool. Say something interesting. All right. Let's see what's in the main compartment of this bag. Oh, I think I saw something. It is, well, could have guessed based on the spikes, I guess. A tent, a tarp. Is that all that's in there? That is unfortunately all that's in there, all the way down. Dang it. It's all parts of a tent. But hey, this is in good shape. All right, so I'm gonna grab this green thing first Ugh. so I can get this bag and then get these totes and get into this box. This has shoes in it and I feel shoe boxes and you know, I found a lot of video games. So I guess we can look for shoes for you too. Yeah. We can all get what we want out of this unit. Ah, come back here. Uh, Whoa, this is all gift bags. I guess a lot of people, you know. Kitty save them so that they can use them again. That kind of thing. There's literally nothing in there. There's some cards in here. Are they unused though? They're probably new. Yeah, unused cards. So this is just something we're gonna throw out at our $1 yard sale. You see something big and rectangular is wrapped up in that blanket and then put a round tape around the blanket. Yeah. That's obviously the gun safe. There's no <laughs> other explanation. Obviously. So I'm not gonna open this one. You can see what's in there. It's a bunch of varieties of cookie cutters, like literally 40 of them. Yep. This one right here. <laughs> I have no idea. Can't really, you can kind of see through it, but not enough to tell. That is their dog supplies. You can tell, dog food bowl, dog toy, leash. Let's get out the black bag. Oh, it's heavy, labeled shoes, and I definitely feel shoe boxes in here. You think they're gonna be Jordans? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, based on the other stuff that's in here, but Let's I hope see. so. Guys, before I open it, Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up right now because it helps us out a ton. And subscribe because we buy storage units all the time. 
Let's see what we got in here. I don't even see shoes. I see randomness. I thought this was a shoe box, but it's a uh, random stuff. Definitely not a shoe box. I don't like the shape of this, not gonna lie. Uh, empty jewelry box. That's kind of random. Let's see. Disco ball. There's some shoes in here, but I'm seeing are those um Chuck? No, they're not. They look like at the top, but they're not. Some books. What's this guy? A Chromecast. Can you see in here? No. All right, look. It just looks like black. Like it's all black shoes in a black bag. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's just yeah. There's there's nothing expensive in there. We'll just probably put them out for a dollar a pair at the yard sale. Because I'm very very impatient. I'm just gonna lean over these bags and go in this one. It says stuffed animals. And then I gotta get the games box out because I gotta know if it's board games or video games. And if it's video games, I'm gonna be a happy guy. This literally says stuffed animals. Uh. A box of stuffed animals. Does it look like, oh yeah it does. A panda, um, a frog. Yeah, I don't see any. There's a couple beanie babies down there, like a cheetah, but not seeing anything else. So let's just put all of these guys back in their box and slide them away. And then let's go pull out the games box because that's what I want to know. I feel like once I lift it, the sound will give it away. You hear a lot of rattling, it's probably four like games. Heavy. I don't know. Like in the middle, like I heard something, but not a lot. Yeah. Cross your fingers with me. Cross your fingers with me. You guys too, watching this, cross your fingers and your toes right now. We need a whole box of video games. That'll make my day. We already found all the silver coins, but this'll help. No! I see Monopoly. And Scrabble, dang it! Scrabble, Harry Potter, two Monopoly, sorry, Battleship Monopoly, Apples to Apples, Yahtzee. All board games all the way through, unfortunately. Well, that's all right. Oh my goodness, Perfect in. this game. This is what stress is made of. All the rest of Adelia, you know, just random board games, a dollar here, a dollar there. We just took all the bags of clothes, which was like 11 of them, and we just took them to the place across the street, to church that donates, takes clothes donations for people in need. So we got rid of almost all of them. And whoa, this is a stack of CDs that goes all the way down. Oh my gosh, you remember kids, Bob. You see how deep it is? I mean, it's probably 20 CDs deep and 20, 40, 60, 80. So I'm gonna guess this box alone around 100 CDs, which I mean, at least 50 cents a dollar a piece, at least 50 to 100 bucks in there. Get, oh, this black tote right here. Ooh, I like what I see in here. That looks like more collectibles than memorabilia. That is exactly what it is. Check that out. We just found the Tony Stewart one last time. So what is this again? A piece of what? Oh, sheet yeah. metal and... Tire and sheet metal. Tire and sheet metal. And it's nice and framed, just a little dusty. Okay, so these are display cases, but nothing in there right now. Here's a baseball in here. It's not signed by anybody. It's an old Carolina League ball. What about this one? Again, nothing in there. What is your guess? Two cars? Probably, That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Two NASCARs. Is this one empty too? Right here. Yeah, they're all empty. We found like hundreds of cars and package. Speaking of cars and package, there's a nice little one right there. What is this right here? There's one or two baseball cards in here. <laughs> or one baseball, one football. Are these worth any money card people? It's kind of weird that they had just two. Okay, then we got this CD. This is some personal stuff. One more little card on there, a recycle car and a deck of cards. It's kind of random, but there's quite a few more black totes like this, so I have a good feeling we're about to get into some money. Another one of these black totes, but what happened to these? Like, all the other totes are all nice, and these all look like they were dropped from, like, a five-story building. They're all destroyed. Oh, what is that? A PlayStation 2 network adapter. Still new in box. It's just <laughs> weird to see PlayStation 2 stuff in general still new in box. That's kind of cool. Are these golf balls or what are these? Oh, same 15 balls. Yeah, golf balls, more golf balls. Oh look, all nice. brand new. Sweet. These are, I'm gonna guess golf shoes. Uh -huh. And this is sheet protectors, which is also brand new. You always wonder why people have such random things like this brand new. Like what was their original intention and why didn't they ever use it, you know? This tote, it looks like it's baby stuff, but let's pull it out and make sure. Get a look in there. Oh, they zip tied it. Whatever am I gonna do besides just lift the other side slightly like this? <laughs> like, what is the purpose of that? Oh wait, it sucked. No. But can you see in there? Yeah. It's all baby blankets, and it looks like 
it's all baby blankets all the way down so just in case this is like their actual kid stuff they want to save we'll leave this one in the give back pile let's see what these things are it looks like a speaker on top for sure and the bottom thing looks like a school bus but it's taped shut lego Ooh, you think it's legos in there this is the same sony speaker we found earlier on so this is the second one that makes a complete pair let's see if there's actually legos in here or what's inside this thing because it's taped shut on every single side you think it's legos yes it is it is man the memories right here uh, there's some of the little ones aren't these or no these are the real ones the off-brand ones are the mega blocks right yes okay so a whole thing of legos that's still in the container i know there's a lot of lego collectors so that could definitely have some value look what i can now reach the nick knock nick knock nick knock nick knack box that we saw last time as well as the green thing should i pull this down now or should we look in these boxes first i say that box this one yeah okay let's pull it out oh it's heavy it's really heavy weird sounding box okay you got me interested now so this one just has value hidden throughout one box you find silver coins one you find video games worth hundreds of dollars one you find military stuff one you find police weapons you know this unit has been like that let's see what is this is this a yearbook Looks so like that's it. a yearbook that'll be given back that'll be given back uh some sketchbooks <gasps> another one oh the advance game boy oh pokemon. with pokemon, pokemon gold too, version pokemon gold version and then what's that yes yeah, pokemon ruby right. oh my god this one's not even broken it's kind of dirty let's see if it turns on no it's dead <laughs> it doesn't mean it doesn't work it's just probably very dead what about the advance oh the advance doesn't have its battery so that one's not going to turn on but the pokemon games alone along with the consoles man that's money hey look a bible you ready for me to open it and find nothing inside like always you know what no this is the time we're gonna find the money it's gonna happen today nope it's not one day one day uh some random stuff some anime books it looks like set them over here what is this is it a wallet yes money no um the railroad spike these super satisfying thingies i don't really know what that is this is a personal picture they'll make sure they get back the military hat oh it's like sand art and is this baseball signed or anything it is signed but i wonder if that's a real player or like a local team or anything it's a carolina league ball so i doubt it's mlb but what are these little things i feel like i remember seeing them somewhere but i don't know what they are i remember them too i don't, <laughs> I don't know what they are either <laughs> But yeah, a bunch of cool ones in there. And this right here, these two Game Boys and those Pokemon games, that's cash. I'm excited about this stack of boxes. Let me get this one. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, go down in the comments right now. Leave a comment that says, this is the best storage unit ever. Please do that. We really like to see who watches all our videos. Let's see what's in this one. Um, I see Winnie the Pooh. What is this thing? Shower head, okay. I guess. What's the Winnie the Pooh tin? Nothing in it. Just a tin. What's his name? Rue. Rue. I was about to say Roy, but no, I was close. Nothing in there. Um, random. Certificate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This right here is money. Money all day. You want to bet this yellow one right here is a Pokemon? No. Oh, look at that. Pikachu Special Edition Bomber. Bomberman for Game Boy. Oh my god. Mega Man. Zelda! This game right here, oh my gosh, me and my dad used to play this so much when I was little. Galaga was my game. That's the exact one on my Game Boy SP. Tekken, what else do we got in here? Metroid! Man, this is crazy. There's the charger. Sweet, there's Kirby. This is insane. Sesame Street. SpongeBob, Lost Spatula. Tarzan, <gasps> the OG Donkey Kong. Joust Defender. This is bringing back so many memories. Oh my God, you remember this game? The Monsters, Inc. game, Mega Man. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. For a video game nerd like me, this is like uh, a four letter P word I don't want to describe. <laughs> Zelda, Spy Kids, <gasps> Spyro, Season Flame. Oh my goodness. Crash Bandicoot, SpongeBob again. <gasps> Legacy of Goku, this game, dude. The amount of hours I played this game when I was little is stupid. Legacy of Goku 1 and 2. It's stupid how much I played that. Mega Man, SpongeBob, Battle of Bikini Bottom. This game too. Oh my goodness. Marble Madness, Mega Man, Rayman. Oh, 
Oh, these are all the color ones. These are the old, old ones. Uh, let's see. Zubo, whatever. If they have a Yu-Gi-Oh game, I'm going to cry. Tetris. I played a Yu-Gi-Oh game that looked like this, and it was, oh my goodness. Power Rangers. Shrek. Winnie the Pooh. Harvest Moon. Zelda. Legend of the River King. Oh my god. Not, I remember Hamtaro. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> Hamtaro. Asteroids. Gallery 3. This is going to be the Yu-Gi-Oh watch. Bang. No, Powerpuff Girls! Okay, what else is in here? These are, oh my gosh! <gasps> American Wasteland! Ah! Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my gosh, Lord of the Rings, Tony Hawk's Underground! That's what I have. Oh my gosh, I feel like... Mm, I'm just freaking out right now, sorry. This is my era of stuff right here. This right here is my knee. For those of you guys that aren't ridiculous video game nerds like myself, here's some screenshots to show you why I'm so excited. These are just the top 20 of the 40 some total games we have. And as you can see by these screenshots, they are worth a ton of money. Just these 20 added up was $745. And that's just the top ones. And if you include all the commons, this is very well a thousand dollars worth of Game Boy games. Okay, let's keep going in this box now, please. What's in here? Uh, just a bunch of weird metal things. Anything else in there? No, we more weird metal things. Nothing, nothing. Rain poncho, nothing. Um, then just a few bears down here. Look at this Winnie the Pooh thing. And then that bear feels really rough. What brand is he? This feels like that one that we found that was like a $70 bear. He feels exactly the same. It's um, Boyd's Bears and Friends. We'll look him up. And then you got a couple of these little figurines down here. You know, I'm not so mad about finding board games now because you know what? The video games were just waiting. We just had to dig a little further. I am high on life right now. That is what I live for. Let's get this one out. And then we're going for the boxes up there, the knickknack box. This one has a different name in it. So I doubt it's gonna be more of the same stuff, but you know, they could have similar interests. Let's see, um, it definitely looks different. Let's, ooh, 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 you see some jewelry in there. Look at this little ring. That thing's gonna be gold, I just feel it. What's it say in there? Right there, 14K, baby, that's gold too. So let's set that aside for sure. Oh, there's another jewelry box. Ooh, that one's got jewelry in it too. This is gonna be gold, this is gonna be gold. Uh, I can't see the end of it, so we'll figure it out eventually, but look at all that jewelry in that one. Can't beat that. This little weird thing, kind of creepy. Um, personal pictures we give back. Another jewelry box. This one, not as much. These are glasses, I can tell you by feeling it. So I'm gonna set that here. What else is in there? Look at the snowman, he's kind of heavy. Uh, another bear, uh, whoa. Ooh, he's got money in there. You think there'd be like silver coins right now? Maybe. Let's pour some out in here. Uh, pennies. Okay, it's all pennies. But there could be a 1953 penny in there worth a million dollars, you never know. Ooh, look at this little brass heart. I wanna see what's in this box right here because I doubt it's actually shoes. Underneath of it, it looks like all personal stuff. But let's see, no, that's way too heavy to be shoes. What's your guess, you have a guess? No. Ow. Very random. Let's set it down. I don't think it's gonna be that much stuff. In the Avon box, do we have jewelry? Ooh, look, a little pair of earrings. Uh, a bunch of pencils. This a jewelry box right here? Or just a guitar? Oh, it is a jewelry box, but there's nothing inside of it, unfortunately. Look at these Cabbage Patch pencil toppers. That could be money, too. Well, whoa, what's that box right there? That's the question. The box hidden inside the box, hidden inside the box is well a bunch of little baby toys overall this one not as cool as the last one but still some interesting things in here i'm just psyched about this unit what is that uh is that a money bag um no there's pins in it it's all old pins though this is crazy these are the kind of units i live for right here there's another one of these hold on a second there's more pins and more jewelry that's 12 karat gold holy crap the pendant is gold that's heavy. I mean, some of the weight's the glass in the front of it, but that's okay. Whoa, man. Okay, well, maybe we're gonna look a little bit closer before I just put this box away. What are these pins here? I'm not strange, you are. You know what? It takes a real person like me to just admit, I am strange, I know it, deal with it. Um, anything else in this guy? No, this looks like 
a bunch of random things, but obviously we'll go into this stuff in more detail. Now let me show you where being six foot five comes to advantage. So I get to reach up, oh, that thing's heavy. I thought it was gonna be a sleeping bag to be honest with you. I can't get it. Let's get down this thing and see if this is actually a printer. Now this box is definitely resealed. Ooh, it's not a printer. There's stuffed animals in there. I see Piglet, but I also seen this. A present from mom to David. David, what'd you get? You got uh, that. That's kind of cool, I guess. That's something I feel like I should give back. I feel like they made it personally. We'll leave that in the give back pile. This is actually all Christmas. Oh, I was about to say, this is all Christmas decorations, but then there's this guy at the bottom, which had nothing inside of it. Well, that's disappointing. The rest of it though, is all Christmas decorations. Before I get all this down, I wanna point something out. The name that was on all those boxes that had the cool stuff said A-N-T-Y. That is what it said, A-N-T-N-Y. That giant yellow, black and yellow tote has the same name on it. That's all full of gaming stuff. I will cry and you'll have to help me. But now, let's see if I can get this down. What's that big military thing? Okay, we'll get that next. Let's look in this box. It just kind of says knickknacks on it. That could be a lot of things. That's a very broad term, knickknacks. Uh, let me get a key. Just slice this thingy open because, you know, I've only found about 10,000 knives, which isn't enough for me to have one with me yet. We have like three in the car, but you know, in the truck, we have none because logic. Let's see what's in here. Little vases. Put these guys here, don't break. This is, don't roll. Just stay put, why are you being so complicated? Family picture, put it right there. This right here, what is it? It is love this is like perfect yard sale stuff put it right here this one looks like kind of the same thing it's family this stuff is perfect Ooh, what's this it looks like a dynamite it blows up uh just a long shot glass i guess is it eeyore eeyore another eeyore <laughs> another vase there's a bunch of random. I'm going to open like one or two more to see what they are. It's a little pink glass that's holding a dead flower. All right, one more, one more, because this just seems like a lot of glass stuff. Ooh, I think this figurine's Winnie the Pooh. If I can open it up. Oh, look at that. Winnie, Piglet, Tigger. What's the boy's name? Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. I haven't seen Winnie the Pooh in so long. That's pretty cool. Let me, oh, look. There's some amethyst in here too. Nice. That's super cool. Maybe I shouldn't call it quits just yet. A few more. Definitely. Yeah, there definitely is. Hot Wheel, beat that. Um, let's see, other, look at all the Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh stuff. That's cool. Hey look, I see more amethyst in the rock. You see that? Yeah. You think that's all that's in here? You see there's a bunch? Quite possibly, yeah. Ooh, I love these kind of rocks. I know you guys love them too. Every time we have them in our auction, they're one of the craziest things people buy. Uh, no, this is, looks like beach stuff. You see? The turtle, the seashell, the castle, a dragon, and a little other figurine in there. Kind of cool. This like looks like a Volkswagen punch buggy. It's a metal at least. Now I got the right angle to get this green thingy down. What is that? It It's just a tent. It's not even nothing military. It's a lightweight dome tent, but you can definitely tell it's what it is. You can feel like the metal pieces and you can feel the tent fabric. So just a tent. That was a little bit of a fight, Ugh, but I got this box down next. And let's see what's in there. It looks like it has a different name. I haven't seen yet on it. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know if is that was somebody's like nickname or something or what that meant. I would say like a dining room hutch. Oh, like that was, cabinet. I never even heard that term before. That's how weird I am. That's exactly what it looks like. One of those like see-through cabinets everyone has in their dining room. What's this? this is a picture? Lee High School Lancers. I'll make sure they get that back. Uh, that's exactly what this looks like though. It's vases that like see-through cabinet a lot of people have by their dining room table. So yard sale stuff. This box looks like it just has one decoration in it. Should I bring it all the way out? I guess so. And the box is actually right. It is just a little snowman Christmas decoration. But now that we got everything off the top of it, I can pull that shelf down. You can see it's like banded shut in here. To me, which should mean there's something inside of it. This is like elastic. So I'm definitely excited to get that down and let's see what's inside. I was about to bring this down and go through it, but unfortunately 
I can see the back and it's missing half the pieces and it's completely empty because it doesn't even have an inside or it's supposed to have an inside, but it's gone and broken. So unfortunately, this thing has nothing inside of it. I got three things going through my head right now. One, why is this wrapped up and what's inside? Two, there's something wrapped up in a black blanket that's really hard back here. And three, that toad has the same guy's name and all the cool stuff. I feel like there's so much more good stuff in this unit. So make sure you subscribe and you come back next time to see it. Peace out.